turning now to our first spotlight on science. With more from his late breaking presentation on bioprosthetic versus mechanical aortic valve replacement in patients 40 to 75 years, here is Dr. Michael Bodish. So at the STS, we've been very interested in looking at biological and mechanical aortic valve replacement in patients between the ages of 40 and 75. And with the recent linkage of the STS National Database to the National Death Index, we're for the first time able to look at longitudinal or long-term outcomes of patients undergoing cardiac surgery. So this study looked at surgical and mechanical aortic valve replacements in patients aged 40 to 75 with long-term 12-year follow-up, which is the first time this has ever been done. So this study is incredibly important, especially in the age of increasing expansion of transcatheter technology, which are primarily tissue valves. So this study looked at mechanical versus tissue valves surgically implanted. So the key finding of this study, which looked at long-term outcomes in patients undergoing tissue or mechanical surgical aortic valve replacement was that patients receiving a mechanical aortic valve had a survival advantage up to the age, up to and including the age of 60. So this study is incredibly important, especially in, a, in an era of increasing transcatheter technology, where over 100,000 patients a year are receiving a transcatheter aortic valve, which is a tissue valve. This study looked at mechanical and tissue valves surgically implanted and showed that patients up to and including the age of 60 have a survival advantage. So this is incredibly important as we think about the long-term management of patients with aortic valve disease. The idea that mechanical valves while relatively underused, it gives us a moment of pause to think, are we, where does that really fit in the spectrum of caring for patients with aortic valve disease? Our hope is that people will uh, read our paper critically and, and think about the data and think about how they approach conversations with patients. I, it's our hope that this, this study will be, will be considered in the next round of, of valve therapy guidelines. Um, and, and will be considered in the, the, the spectrum of the lifetime management of aortic valve disease. I think um, in general, there's been a shift towards more tissue valves in, in younger patients, and this, this study really should make one think and remember that mechanical valves are a very good option for patients with, as this study's shown, very, very good long-term long -term survival and good outcomes. So this paper has been reviewed and accepted by the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, and we felt that that was very important to have this simultaneously published so that people can really understand the data and really take it to their patients. This publication will be available Saturday afternoon at approximately 3 p.m., just shortly after the presentation.